Hey Guy and Roseanne here and welcome back to Amore Van. Today I want to talk a little bit about a, a cooking appliance that we've added for our most recent trip. So uh, normally our go-to appliances for cooking are either our micro hearth, our Otzi flat pack grill, or our induction cooktop. During our four-month winter trip, though, we found that there was, you know, one, one hole in our in our cooking lineup, and and that was to deal with uh, a couple of very particular scenarios. So, for example, we wanted a way to be able to cook outside quickly uh, if we just wanted to make a real quick small meal like breakfast, right? and we were in a situation where we were trying to conserve power so that we didn't want to use our microwave or our induction cooktop. Um, and so you want to cook outside, don't want to use power, and it's a quick meal, so we don't necessarily want to set up the charcoal grill and make a charcoal fire and go through all of that. Uh, we want something quick and easy. And, and so what we've uh, added to our lineup for this trip is a solo stove. We chose the smallest of the solo stoves, which is the solo stove light. Uh, one of the nice things about it is it's so compact, we didn't even, even need any extra room for storage. It fits entirely within our existing camp pot. So let's take a quick look at that. So here you can see how small it is, and it comes within its own tiny little carrying bag. So what you gotta do is take it out of the bag, And you'll see it comes uh, with, or we ordered it with, this optional alcohol burner. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to talk about that in a little while. And this is the reversible top that goes on top to hold your pan or your pot. And put in a little piece of fire starter. And then just some twigs that I've gathered from around the campground. Um, so... Uh, easy fuel source that you can find at every campsite. Just go around, grab some dry, tig, uh, dry, dry twigs, uh, and uh, cut them up into, you know, break them up into little pieces and fit them down inside the solo stove. I've got my uh, handy little torch lighter here because I got tired of using matches. And I light the fire starter and along with the twigs. And once I've got a flame, I can, uh, I'm starting my timer to see uh, how long it takes before I can actually be cooking food. I put the top back on, and now it is ready to go. I've got some sausage in a pan here. Put the pan on top of the stove. And you see I've got some extra twigs ready in case I need to feed the fire if it starts to die down. Okay. Less than two minutes from the time I lit it to the time the sausage has begun to sizzle. And within 10 minutes of the time I took the solo stove out of the bag, we are eating breakfast. And now I just want to briefly mention the use case for the optional alcohol burner. We found that there are some campgrounds when there are particularly dry conditions that will not allow either wood fires or even charcoal fires because of fire hazards. But what they will allow is a fire with camping fuel. So this alcohol burner fills that gap. Well, there you have it. The Solo Stove Light was a great addition to our cooking lineup. If you're interested in the Solo Stove Light, there's an Amazon link in the description of this video. Hope this was helpful for you. See you next time. We hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you next time here at Amore Van.